Jaden Hibbert goes pro. And Jamaica's Stacey Ann Williams and Anjanette Knight both open their 2024 season this weekend. And we celebrate USA track sprinter T. T. Terry's birthday. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, we drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, Stacy Ann Williams, Andrinette Knight, and another channel favorite, although not Jamaican, the remarkable Anna Crockwell of the United States will all open their 2024 track season officially this Saturday indoors at the Razorback Invitational taking place in the United States. All three women open in the women's 400 meters open at, I said, at the Razorback Invitational. This includes Alexis Holmes, Stacey Ann Williams, Kendall Ellis, Andrew Dett Knight, Anna Crockwell, Gianna Woodruff, Bailey Lear, and Paris Peoples. This, of course, takes place Saturday the 27th. Keep it locked here to Peter Lloyd World. We will be covering this event. Now, last year, in the finals of the women's 400-meter hurdles, Jamaica's Andronette Knight and the USA's Anna Crockwell both competed with Crockwell coming fifth in 53.34, a personal best in the finals. And Andronette Knight, surprisingly, to be honest, taking eighth in the time of 55.20. She had been one of the favorites going in uh, to the entire World Championships event. Eight years ago, Knight, fourth quick perhaps from the Jamaicans. This is such a, the ball is away and clear here. She fell on the first night, but like the great champion she is, she has risen to conquer all the other two medals goes a little and Clayton. Now it was Jamaica's Rochelle Clayton who walked away with the bronze medal in this instant. And Janet Knight, as I said, took eighth and Anna Crockwell took the fifth position. But I believe that both of these young ladies are going to improve immensely and they will be a factor at the Paris Olympic Games should they remain healthy. So keep your eyes peeled uh, this Saturday for the opening races of Jamaica's Andronette Knight and the USA's Anna Crockwell in the women's 400 meters open at the Razorback Invitational. As stated, also opening her season this Saturday in the same event is Jamaica Stacy Ann Williams. Stacy Ann Williams, of course, anchored the Jamaican 4x400 meter relay team home to a silver medal at the in the 2023 World Championships Women's 4x400 meter finals. And um, she, I believe at one point she had, in fact, I think she had the fastest time for the 2023 season for a Jamaican woman in the 400 meters. So I think uh, she's been improving in increments. I think she's going to have a great season. So I'm looking forward to see what she does uh, in her opening race. I am thinking she's the clear favorite going in if she's healthy. That's what I'm thinking. You have to tell me in this women's 400 meter opens, open. Uh, at the Razorback Invitational. Of course, this is indoors, so it's a little different. But Stacey Ann Williams is used to running this. Remember, she had a very extensive collegiate career. Price to Salmon for Jamaica. They've got a lead of about two meters. Constantine now on the third leg for Canada. So I'm looking forward to see Jamaica Stacey Ann Williams and Andrinette Knight open this Saturday, as well as Anna Crockwell, uh, channel favorite here. Now we have to say happy birthday, happy 25th birthday to USA sprinter T. 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 Harry, um, one of the USA's finest um, sprinters. She is celebrating her 25th birthday. And you know the tradition here at Peter Lloyd World? She posted, this is for them 20-somethings. Time really moves fast. You were just 16. Cheers to 25. So happy birthday to T.T. Terry of the United States. Amazing sprinter and the tradition here. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy, happy 25th birthday to you, T.T. Terry. We hope you have a solid 2024 season. season. Breaking late uh, yesterday, Friday the 26th. Well, we found out that the Wonder Kid, the remarkable Jaden Hibbert, the record holder in the men's under 20 triple jump and one of the top three or four best triple jumpers on the planet, the Bowerman's youngest recipient, recipient, recipient of the Bowerman Award, the remarkable Jaden Hibbert, has decided to go pro. What are your thoughts? Hibbert posted a moving um, thank you note to his alma mater, University of Arkansas. He wrote, you have been more than just a school to me. You have been a family. To all my coaches, teammates, and professors, you have shaped me into the athlete and person I am today. You have instilled in me the Razorback spirit, which I'll carry with me on my professional journey. This journey has been filled with unforgettable moments, victories, and lessons that I won't trade for anything. The road, the roar of the crowd, at every trap meet, the camaraderie, the grind, the triumphs, and even the injuries, each has carved a piece of my heart and soul. As I say goodbye to my NCAA eligibility and step into my professional career, career, I do so with a heart full of gratitude. I'm not leaving behind the Razorback family. I'm taking it with me. The red and white with all will always be a part of me no matter where this path takes me thank you university of arkansas for the memories the lessons and for shaping a kid with a dream into becoming a pro athlete here's to the next adventure always carrying the spirit of the razorback with me so are you surprised is anybody surprised that already know made this within move? within the hour within the hour very very intelligent um, and he has his feet firmly planted under him. I think he's going to shine and sparkle. I think he's going to do well. And I think he's going to walk away if he's healthy as the Olympic champion in the men's triple jump. I mean, I, I don't see who is going to threaten him. I'm going to be very frank with you. I think Jamaica is going to walk away with that gold medal this year. There is almost no doubt in my mind. So I wish him the best in his pro career. I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you think he's making the right move? Um, is it too early? Should he have waited? You know, should he have finished his career, his college career? Or should he go after the money? Should he go after the moolah, the paper? The, <laughs> you know, do you think this is the right move? Um, honestly, in this instance, I have no comment. Uh, he knows, I'm pretty sure he knows what's best for him. I trust his judgment and the judgment of his team and his coaching staff. I think he's going to soar. I think he's just going to do extremely well. I mean, he's had an incredible background. First of all, he's Jamaican. Secondly, he went to Kingston College and he's a graduate of, well, he's leaving the Razorbacks. I think he's going to do great. Now, don't forget to go over there and support our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth, if you want to learn about wealth creation. Also, leave uh, uh, 